If you have the ability to think in abstract, mathematical, and visual ways to solve problems, think about becoming a mechanical engineer. Mechanical engineers design and evaluate machines, devices, equipment, systems, and processes, and plan and oversee their development, installation, operation, and maintenance. We spoke with a mechanical engineer to help us put it all together. Hi, my name is Robin Reed and I'm a mechanical engineer. Essentially a mechanical engineer is someone who designs anything that moves and we use applied science to do that. Mechanical engineering is a little bit different from other disciplines of engineering just in the sense that we're designing things that move. Uh, civil engineers design things that are generally static. We are looking at machines, gears, airflow, heat transfer, anything like that. So it can be things that you see that are moving, it can be things that you can't see. But uh, in general, that's, that's the division for mechanical engineering. In the building design aspect of mechanical engineering, we design the mechanical systems for buildings. So that's the sanitary systems, the storm systems, uh, domestic water piping, ventilation ductwork, and heating. Typically, I can be doing anything from doing calculations uh, in a detailed sense, selecting equipment for a particular building but uh, also visiting sites, going to inspect or observe building construction progress, so be it from the very early stages of a project all the way through completion, and um, creating engineering drawings to make sure that that design gets properly constructed and implemented. My day starts with coming to the office around 7.30 or 8 o'clock, usually lasts till about 5 p.m., and when deadlines come up, we can be working a little bit later or a little bit earlier than that and we kind of tailor that to the project. Part of our job is making sure that systems have been properly constructed but also if there are any issues with pumps for example or piping uh, that we can address by building design that's something that we would investigate and, uh, and make a recommendation on. The university program for mechanical engineering is a Bachelor of Science program. It's four years and from there you start looking for jobs you can get out and get employed. Learning on the job is definitely a big part of being a mechanical engineer. In university you learn a lot of basic theory. Uh, it gets pretty advanced and it gets pretty detailed but uh, the biggest thing you learn in university is how to learn and that really carries over to, to doing this job. So the first thing that we look for is making sure that they've got their, their proper education from an accredited university through uh, the Association of Professional Engineers and Geoscientists of Alberta. Um, and through there they'll get their engineering training designation. Um, then from there we look for uh, the proper personality. Uh, they need to be you know, likeable, sociable. What we do, so much of what we do is dealing with clients and client management and also people within the office. Tools for a mechanical engineer often center around the computer. So I'm, I'm often using email, Word, Excel, doing a lot of that sort of thing for reports and calculations, but we also use AutoCAD and Revit, so 2D and 3D drafting software, and that is a large part of how we produce our drawings and how we communicate our design to the client. Skills for a mechanical engineer, they're pretty diverse, uh, what's required, but generally speaking, you need good computer skills because you're spending a lot of your time, that's sort of your portal to dealing with clients, dealing with issues. You're always working on the computer. Uh, people skills are definitely an asset as well, but uh, technically speaking, math and physics, those are a big part of engineering. When I'm working in the office, I definitely have a lot of contact with other people. No design is an island, and so I'm not designing that building by myself. I'm discussing it with my mentor or with a senior project engineer or you know, talking with somebody about how to get the drafting done on that project. Dealing with people is something that you need to be very comfortable with and sometimes that can be challenging but what's rewarding about that is when you see a successful outcome. What I enjoy most about being a mechanical engineer is getting to work in the details, in the nuts and bolts, do calculations and uh, because I really enjoy the math and the physics aspect of this job but to be able to see that be applied to solving a problem for someone else and see um, the benefit that that could potentially have on their business or even them personally is actually very satisfying so I get to leave here every day feeling like I made a difference. 
To become a mechanical engineer, you'll need a bachelor degree in mechanical engineering, which is a four-year program. Discover more about this occupation, such as educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profile on the ALICE website, and learn about related occupations like mechanical design technologist and mechanical engineering technologist. Make the most of your future. Go to alice.alberta.ca.